This week on r slash anti MLM. I have crippling depression. Stay till the end to find out what happens when some random lady tried to get me to buy her Herbalife supplements after posting about having to self quarantine because I'm on immunosuppressants. How I mega DODGED and MLM as an 18 year old working at Target. Be gone! Hi everyone, I've been following this thread for a while now and I gotta say, I'm so happy to be part of such a wholesome group of people. I can tell that everyone here, as annoyed as they are by the Huns, they still genuinely just want these people to get out of a trap that could potentially ruin their life. As such, I have finally worked up the bravery to share one of my MLM stories with you guys. This is the first time I was recruited for an MLM, and I was 18, recently out of high school so I was really naive and innocent, lol. I was recruited by an MLM lady when I worked at Target. I helped this couple with some returns and the lady was really impressed by my customer service skills. She asked me a few questions about myself and me being naive and having a spare few minutes, because there was no one else in line behind them. I told her a bunch of things she wanted to know, like where I go to school, what I'm studying, having moved out of my parents' house recently, etc. She just kept on telling me about this opportunity that she had and suggested that we meet for coffee one day and have a chat. I genuinely got good vibes from her, lol I could not tell who was out to get me back then, being an airheaded 18 years old. We met for coffee later that week so, she could let me know more about her mentorship opportunity and how I can eventually even open my own business. Once she said the open your own businesses part, I was shook. Damn right I wanted to know how to own my own business. So, me. Being an art student at the time, I kept on pushing the conversation towards a place where I could find out what kind of business she is talking about. I was airheaded, but I still knew there are different types of businesses in the world, you know. At the time, I thought she was probably just a small business owner looking for either a personal assistant or someone that she can have cover for her at her store or whatever the frick she could be running. The phrase pyramid scheme was pretty foreign sounding to me and didn't once cross my mind. Anyhow, she kept dodging the topic I was trying to get to so I flat out asked her if I learn from you through this mentorship opportunity, can I eventually start my own business that has to do with art. She then finally said no, this is a different kind of opportunity. And then blah blah blah, really not important lol. I listened to her spiel and we talked for a few more minutes over coffee then she gave me a copy of Rich Dad, Cool Dad, I agreed to read it and text her if anything resonated with me, then I bounced. At that point, I'd given her about 10 minutes of chatting on my work time, then more time texting and arranging our coffee meetup, then actually going out of my way to meet her, um, only for her to shill some book and mentorship program to start my own business, that would never ever have anything to do with what I'm passionate about. I was pretty livid about wasting my time as I was pretty busy at the time. So, yeah, um, that was 18 year old me getting bamboozled by a pyramid scheme recruiting lady. And yeah, I ghosted her, didn't even care if she came back to target, I was ready to duck behind any aisle if I saw her. P.S. The cafe I mentioned is now closed down, but it used to be a central hub for MLM recruiters where I live. Even one of the top MLM, financial confidence bullshitters on YouTube right now said in his interviews that he was recruited himself at this cafe and then proceeded to recruit other people there. Thank god it's a ramen place now cause ain't nobody paying $15 to meet up with a random stranger. Thank you for reading my long ass story smiley face love you all. Sending good vibes to everyone during these times we are in 3. DO IT! My Young Living Story SHOTS FIRED! SHOTS FIRED! So two years ago, I joined a music group at my church. At the beginning, it was this lady and I, but we ended up adding a few people. She always smelled like essential oils, and I get migraines from synthetic fragrances, so I asked her about it once. 
Immediately my mum and I got signed up for her mailing list. When I got sick, she brought me bottles of Thieves and Oregano, at the time I just thought this was really nice of her. My mom, boyfriend, and I ended up going to many of her DIY classes and health seminars. Eventually, she pressured my mum to sign up, I was in high school, so I had no income, and my mum bought the cheapest set available, something like $160 for a diffuser, 10 essential oils, and some bottles and samples of crap. It was still a big purchase financially and at first we were happy with the oils and the products. However, the emails kept coming. We kept being encouraged to buy more product which we couldn't afford, and when we brought this up, we were told to sign up as distributors to get the discount. We refused, and I eventually started doing research on MLMs. By this point, I started college, bringing my thieves cleaner, diffuser, and oils. One of my suitamates had a distributor mom, so our suite constantly smelled like oils. However, I started doing research, and my relationship with the distributor lady got worse, because I did not have the money to buy her products. I didn't want to buy other brands, because I was convinced they were impure. Once I found Plant Therapy, a non-MLM company that does third-party testing for all their oils and was way cheaper, I saw the light. I watch betting on zero, and I read the sub. A year since then, I still use essential oils to make my room smell nice. The lady switched to Zillis and Enarban, and still messages my mum and I sometimes, which we always ignore. My expensive young living diffuser broke. The worst part is my aunt got hooked, and she does have money, so every time I'm at her house I see the shelves of oils grow. At this point I know she has over $1,000 in product, and she's not even selling it. MLMs make me so sad, it shocks me how brainwashed my family got, and we still held a healthy distance from it. I cannot believe how predatory and fake the whole business model is, and I will be staying far away from all MLMs forever. Do it! My friend got out. Be gone! Hey, just a little positive post to say my friend who was lured in by MLMs has finally given them up. I posted about a year ago looking for advice when she joined her first one. She joined three since then, but recently has completely given them all up smiley face. She has started her own business, actually her own, not someone's scam, making soaps and stuff at home and selling them online. I have no idea how much money she lost during the year that she was in the MLMs, but I'm proud of her for getting out. Be gone! Some random lady tried to get me to buy her Herbalife supplements after posting about having to self-quarantine, because I'm on immunosuppressants. A little background first. I have scleroderma, it's an autoimmune disorder that causes the immune system to attack the connective tissues, to treat this I am on multiple immunosuppressants, methotrexate, mitrofenilate, and plaquenil, which suppress my immune system to make it stop attacking my body. I posted on my Instagram story about how I was having to self-quarantine, because COVID-19 would be deadly for me, and this person replied to my story and asked if I could just stop taking the meds. Keep in mind I have absolutely no idea who this person is, I'm not even sure if she follows me, but I thought it was sketchy from the beginning, because a 40-something Karen looking person DM'd me, a 16-year-old kid. I explained to her that no, I could not stop taking these meds, because if I did my condition could flare and could affect my organs, which could kill me. I figured that would be the end of it, but nope. She next starts talking about how she sells these supplements that will work wonders for my immune system so I won't have to self-quarantine. She said that she guarantees that they will make my immune system stronger so I won't have to self-quarantine. I explained to her that I cannot take anything that will counteract my meds, because making my immune system stronger equals flare equals bad. She then went on about how these ones are safe to take with my medications and won't counteract anything, they will just make my immune system stronger. 
which literally directly counteracts my meds, I had a feeling this was some type of MLM bullshit so I played along and asked what she was selling, turns out it was Herbalife. I told her again that I wasn't interested, because my doctors and the CDC recommend that I don't leave my house, and I am perfectly fine with that. But oh boy was she persistent and was all like but you would be able to continue living your life, oh may oh what life, I never leave my house in the first place, and it will make you so much healthier in the long run, and who knows maybe this will cure your immune system, I'm sorry, but how the frick do you cure an immune system, that's when I blocked her. It's ridiculous that these people are going as far as to tell people to stop taking their meds, take their supplements despite it making the meds ineffective, and claiming that it will cure your immune system just to make a sale for a shitty MLM company. I'm not looking to be fixed. I'm happy the way I am, I'm happy with my treatment, and I'm totally content staying in my house for a while. It drives me insane when people, who aren't doctors, think they know my health better than me.